Hello YouTube, so I just got back from chilling practice. Um, I had filmed this video earlier, but something happened with the audio, and it was like my lips weren't matching up with the audio, basically. So I want to refilm this um this video. And so this was my what to wear to chilling practice or try out type video um so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started so basically every cheerleader needs a cheer bow and my opinion is the bigger the better but don't get like this big like christmas bow that's supposed to be on a reef outside of your door not one of those just cheer bow Okay, and um, another thing is no jewelry, no earrings, no rings, um, nexus, none of that. Hair should be slick back um, into a pony, preferably, because hair in the face is so distracting, very distracting. Um, another thing you want to do, like a light everyday type makeup like light everyday type makeup um also oh wear like a school color type shirt that's like that's like loose and loose and whatnot so you can tumble you can fly you can base do whatever you need to do but this look basically um, it's for no matter like what level of cheerleading you are, like your middle school, your high school, college, all star. This look can work for anything, unless they say specifically these are your requirements. But um, oh, also like pair of Sophies, pair of matching Sophie shorts. And also, the rumors are very essential. I'm not sure why that just turned brown, but, um, yeah, bloomers are very essential. Or, like, some people call them spanks, where you could wear, um, compression shorts, but make sure you wear those under your shorts. They're essential. Also, um, like... You're going to need a pair of chin shoes or just chin shoes with like a flat bottom. And these are my. These are my. Yep. And I actually got these from Finish Line. And they're like originally 80 bucks. Then I got them for maybe 60. Um. Yeah, and then I also got these. I just want to show you guys these first. Um, these are like cushiony things you put in your in your shoe, and these are actually by Soft So. They come in many different colors, but you just put them on the bottom of your shoe. And because like cheerleading shoes should be light for one, and um, because like. You jump and you're constantly on your feet, you're stomping, whatever you're doing. You should always have like good support as far as shoes are concerned. And this just helps even more to not like lessen the pain because you shouldn't be in pain. But I guess like the pressure of like um, jumps and stuff like when you land. Um, yeah, so I've been trying these for the past two weeks and they've been pretty amazing these were the ten dollar kind but they're by soft soul and they're pretty awesome for ten bucks another thing is um make sure i tell you guys anything oh you're gonna need some some sort of like water something you can drink like between breaks like sodas especially like dark sodas they're no no because you will crash like, I just take my water bottle, I fill it up, 
put ice in it and it stays cold. Like, really cold. Another thing I would say, like, Carmex, because, like, we went outside sometimes. So, I just put this on my lips and it's really soft and whatnot. Yeah. This is my preference. So, like, you can use chapstick or anything. Any kind of moisturizing lip product that you like. Okay. Sorry. So, I must tell you guys the whole lotion roll. Well, it's not really a roll. Just a, um, well, for us, it's a roll. But, um, this goes for especially flyers. Do not apply lotion. Like, when you get to practice, don't put on lotion. You should apply your lotion 35 to 40 minutes before practice at the least. Because if your if your legs are like wherever you put lotion is like not slippery but you know that feel you get when lotion when you put on lotion freshly put on lotion if you're a flyer somebody's trying to hoist you up in the air and your legs are slippery we'll call it you're most likely to get get dropped because you wanted to apply lotion before, right before you can practice. So, guys, please remember the 35 to 40 minute kind of guideline thing on lotion. Um, this especially goes for flyers. But also, like, if you're a base um, and your hands are slippery, you can't grip that flyer as well. So, she's, she's going to fall. Um, trying to think also where that would apply. Not sure, really sure. It's probably just like stunts. And if you're like practicing outside and your lotion smells good, beads and stuff, they're going to be attracted to you. Just a, a thing. Um, trying to think what else. I think that's about it. So remember, cheer bow, a loose um, school colored shirt or a school shirt shirt. Matching so, um, like selfies and spanks or bloomers or compression shorts 35 to 40 minutes before practice on your lotion. Some kind of moisturizing lip product. Some comfortable gym shoes with a flat bottom. Um, some water. No jewelry, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, rings, none of that good stuff. And, oh, and you're going to need, like, a little bag to, like, put everything in. You can accent this with, like, a cubo. So this is just one they gave us at school. This will give away. And you can bring, like, a snack, too, if you're, like, really hungry. You need a five-minute snack, two-minute snack. All right, you guys. Well, these are my tips on what to wear during tryouts or practices. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I should be doing more like cheer related videos soon. So you guys had a great day. I hope this really helped. And bye.